Hello from Gardening at Dwensa here in Ireland. Well, it's the last day in February, so it's time to pot up the peonies. Okay, so I've just taken this box out of the fridge. This is the box that I keep my seeds in and my peonies. Let's see if I can open it with one hand. And inside we can see that the peonies are beginning to grow shoots. So you just saw me take the peonies out of the fridge. They had been kept in a box, plastic bags in a box over winter. And it's time to pot them up. Now when they start to grow like this, it's definitely time to be moving them along. Now, I don't purport to be any kind of expert on growing peonies, but what I can say is that I've been growing them for six years, uh, sometimes with more success than others. And peony is that funny type of orchid that people who don't grow orchids tend to do better at than people who do grow orchids. For example, I have a friend of mine up in Dublin, and she doesn't grow any orchids at all, but she has a pot of peonies, which she leaves outdoors all winter, doesn't fridge them or anything, and they come up for her again every year. I don't understand that, it's certainly not what I do, but um, anyway, I'm going to give you my tuppence worth. And in terms of potting these peonies and the mix that I've used, what I'm going to show you is a mix that I've had from one of the experts. So Steve James is a peony hybridizer in England, and I haven't ever actually met him, but we've communicated over a number of years and he's given me various peony potting and growing tips. So I'm going to share his mix recipe with you now. So the orchid mix that I use and I have courtesy of Steve James is eight parts orchid bark, medium or small grade, six parts, and this is the magic ingredient, peat pellets. So these are the hard lumps of peat that you find in the bags that you buy. You know the bits that you just can't use and you tend to pull them out and throw them away because you know you can't use them for potting generally speaking. Well keep them from now on keep them because you're going to need them for potting your peonies. And so six parts peat lumps then two parts sphagnum moss finely chopped and a half a part perlite. Well, gosh, <laughs> what a tiny bit I managed to collect up. Yeah, half a part perlite, these little white um, globule type things that do such a great job of keeping things moist and yet stopping them rotting. So, as they say in all the best DIY programs, here's a little something I prepared earlier. It contains all of those ingredients, nicely mixed up. It feels quite dry to the touch, but there's enough sphagnum and perlite in there to make sure that your peonies are going to be hydrated. And today we're going to pot the peonies in this bowl. It's a clay bowl, and I'm going to start off by putting some polystyrene bits at the bottom just to facilitate drainage. And now we're going to put the mix on top of the polystyrene. In you go. Right, so we put in a good bit of it like that and kind of smooth it around. And now we have a bed on which I'm going to lay the peonies. And I'm going to start with the bigger ones first, putting them in the middle. Some of these I'm not exactly sure if they are flower spikes or if they're just leaves coming up already, but we'll put them in anyway. This is, these are the original peonies I bought six years ago. I bought three of them from Johnston Garden Centre in a dry in a bag and look how many I have now. And I've given loads away because that's what happens, isn't it? You know, you have a nice bowl of peonies and your friends come and you say, well, of course you can have a few when they're ready. And there you go. So there we go. That's about, that's about as full up as we can get. 
I have a few left over, but um, well, they won't go to waste. Just move it closer so you can see. Going to put the label in here, Formo Sana. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get a bit of mixture in and around the Pleonies because um, they're kind of just sitting proud of the soil and or of the mix and we want them to be down a little bit. Now not too much because once these start to grow roots, the roots will go down into the mix and anchor themselves more securely and um, there'll be no, no danger of them kind of uh, wibbling around like they're doing at the moment. So just tease a little bit of mix in and around them. Trying my best not to bury any or bury the shoots, but I inevitably will bury some, some of them. It's quite amazing. This year I managed not to break a single spike when I took them out of the fridge. Because that's the big danger. You see these spikes? If you break that, then that's the end of flowers. I mean, no flowers for you that year from that particular bulb. So, um, yeah. So there you go. That's the peonies all potted up. The bowl is complete. And I hope to have a super display this year when these get into flower. Now what I'll do now is I'll water this once, just once, and then leave it for three weeks, water again. And then after that, I'll water after two weeks. And that'll be just when they're beginning to come into flower. And then after that, it's watering weekly with regular uh, plant food all through the summer. That's all for the moment. Thanks very much for watching. And I hope you found my video on peony potting useful. And check back in a little while to hopefully see this bowl in full flower. Thanks very much. Bye now.